now chapter optics is over if you have any doubts related to the chapter optics then see all the videos again or you can call me also let us see the problems depending on prism formula angular dispersion and dispersive power first problem for a glass prism n is equal to 1.5 data mode n is equal to 1.5 means refractive index of glass having refracting angle is 60 degree calculate i for which i is equal to e therefore we have to calculate i when i is equal to e how much is the corresponding value of angle of deviations means we have to calculate delta m therefore in this problem our aim is we have to calculate i means angle of incident and angle of deviation of course minimum deviation means delta m therefore we have to use the prism formula what is the prism formula n is equal to the sin of a plus delta m upon 2 upon sin of a upon 2 put the value therefore it is 1.5 sin of a is 60 plus delta m as it is upon 2 upon sin of a upon 2 60 upon 2 first write the formula then do the substitution now 1.5 is equal to the sin of 60 upon 2 is 30 plus delta m upon 2 upon sin of 30 okay 60 upon 2 is 30 therefore 1.5 is equal to the sin of 30 plus delta m upon 2 upon sin 30 is 1 half okay therefore this 1.5 into 1 half is 0.75 is equal to the sin of 30 plus delta m upon 2 therefore how to next step how to calculate next step this is the here sin is here therefore it becomes the sin inverse therefore sin inverse of 0.75 is equal to the 30 plus delta m upon 2 then take the log table book in your log table book there is a natural sin natural cosine natural tangent okay then see the page number 11 natural sines okay sin of 0.75 then its value is here see this 0.75 is here see the its degree and minutes therefore it becomes 48 degree and 35 minutes 35 minutes is equal to the 30 plus delta m upon 2 then 30 is here becomes minus therefore it becomes 18 degree 35 minute is equal to the delta m upon 2 then multiplied by 2 it becomes the 36 minute 36 degree and 70 minute is equal to the delta m but 1 degree is equal to how much 60 minutes therefore it becomes 37 degree and 10 minutes is equal to the delta m therefore delta m is equal to the 37 degree and 10 minutes okay multiply kele apan itha pa 36 degree 70 minute but 1 degree is equal to the 60 मिनिट ओके मग देयरफॉर 60 मिनिटाचे किती झाले 1 डिग्री म्हणून 1 डिग्री इकडे काय केले आपण ऍड केले ओके आणि मग 16 मिनिट इकडे गेल्यानंतर रिमेनिंग इज 
minute. Therefore, here is 10 minutes. Therefore, delta M is equal to the 37 degree and 10 minutes. Karan minta sa jikai last limitations asta te ki te asta 60 minute asta. Ita 70 minutes hale na. Manu apun te asta conversion hai degree madhe ke lao. Okay. This is the value of delta M. Now we calculate the value of angle of incidence I. How to calculate it? I is equal to I plus E is equal to the A plus delta M. Because you know now delta M A is given, I is equal to E, therefore we have to use this formula. Therefore, I plus I is equal to the A plus delta M. Therefore, 2I is equal to the A plus delta M. Therefore, I is equal to the A plus delta M upon 2. Therefore, I is equal to A. A is 60 plus delta M is 37 degree 10 minutes. Therefore, upon 2. Therefore, I is equal to the. This becomes 97 degree 10 minutes upon 2. Therefore, I is 97 upon 2 is 48.5 degree and 10 minute divided by 2 is 5 minute. Okay, but we have to write the whole number. Therefore, it becomes I is equal to the, see this, this is 48.5 degree. 0.5 degree is equal to how many minutes? It is the 30 minutes. Therefore, 30 minutes and this 5 minutes. Therefore, it becomes the 35 minutes. Therefore, I is equal to the 48 degree 35 minute. This is the value of angle of incidence. I is equal to the 48 degree 35 minutes. Because this 0.5 degree is equal to the 30 minutes. Because 1 degree is equal to the 60 minute. Therefore, 0 0.5 degree is equal to the 30 minutes and that 30 minutes is added in 5 minutes. Therefore, it becomes the 35 minute. Okay. Now, second problem. See this. For a dense flint glass prism of refracting angle 10 degree. Therefore, here n is equal to the 10 degree. Okay. Obtain angular dispersion. Angular dispersion. We have to calculate angular dispersions means del V R. For extreme colors. And dispersive power of dense flint glass. Because dispersive power is the property of material of prism. Because it depends on only the refractive index. Therefore, we have to calculate omega iso. First, we calculate the angular dispersion. Del V R. What is the formula? Del V R. Del V minus del R. Say equation number 1. What is del V? Del V is equal to A into N V minus 1. A is 10. N V 1.792 minus 1. Therefore, it becomes 10 into 0.792. Therefore, it becomes 7.92 degree. Similarly, del R, angular dispersion for red color, is equal to A N R minus 1, 10, nr is 1.712 minus 1, therefore 10, this is 0.712, therefore this becomes 7.12 degree. Therefore, del vr is equal to the 7.92 degree 
minus 7.12 degree. This becomes, I am writing here, del V R is equal to, this 2 minus 2 is 0, 9 minus 1 is 8, okay, and 7 minus 7 is 0, therefore 0 0.8. 8, 0 degree. This is the value of del V R, angular dispersion. Okay, it is straightforward. Now we calculate the omega dispersive power. Which formula is used? Omega is equal to the del V minus del R upon del V plus del R upon 2. Therefore, this can be written as omega is equal to 2 del V minus del R upon del V plus del R. Therefore, omega is equal to 2 del V minus del R means angular dispersion just to have calculated it becomes 0.8 upon del V plus del R. What is del V? Just to have calculate this, del V is, I think it is, del V is value upon calculate kill you and this is the 7.92 plus 7.12, okay. Therefore, omega is equal to 2 into 0 0.8 upon, this becomes 15.04. Okay, 0 0.8 upon 15.04, therefore omega is equal to 1.6, 2 into 0 0.8 is 1.6 upon this 15.04, therefore omega is 0 0.1064, this is the answer of omega. We have to use here the log table. कारण तुम्हाला लगेच अजून कॅल्सी अलाउड केलेले नाही कॅल्क्युलेटर अलाउड केलेले नाही आहेत बोर्डाने त्याच्यामुळे तुम्हाला अधिक काय वापरावं लागणार आहे लॉक टेबल वापरून आपल्याला कॅल्क्युलेशन्स करावं लागणार आहे सिंपल कॅल्क्युलेशन असेल तर नॉट नेसेसरी टू यूज द लॉक टेबल बट इफ द कॅल्क्युलेशन इज टीडियस सी दिस 1.6 अपॉन 15.04 हाऊ टू कॅल्क्युलेट इट देन वी हैव टू सी द लॉक टेबल ओके लॉक टेबल तेचे जे काही रूल्स आहेत ते पाहून घ्या ओके नसेल तर पटवर्धन मॅडम तुम्हाला शिकवणारच आहे देअर फॉर वी गेट हिअर ओमेगा इज इक्वल टू झिरो पॉईंट वन झिरो सिक्स फोर अँड डेल व्ही आर मीन्स अँग्युलर डिस्पर्शन इज इक्वल टू द पॉईंट एटी डिग्री दिस ओमेगा हॅज नो युनिट बिकॉज इट इज द रेशो ऑफ सेम फिजिकल क्वांटिटी Okay, and this ratio, of course, this ratio depends on the refractive index. Okay, third problem, a pocket microscope that is compound microscope used by the student like you consists of eyepiece of focal length 6.25 centimeter. Therefore, Fe is 6.25 centimeter and objective of the focal length 2 centimeter. Therefore, Fo is 2 centimeter. At microscope length 15 centimeter, means capital L is 15 centimeter and it is the distance between objective lens and the eyepiece lens that is VO plus UE is equal to the 15 centimeter is given. We don't know the value of VO and we don't know the value of UE but we know the value of capital L. Okay, together then the value of Lela Mahit Ahe. The final image appear biggest. Calculate the distance of the object from the objective. Object distance is U and from objective therefore we have to calculate the U O. Okay. And magnifying power of the microscope. Therefore, we have to calculate the MP of microscope. Let us first calculate VO and UE. 
okay therefore first we use the formula 1 upon f e e is equal to the 1 upon v e minus 1 upon u e okay therefore here v e is the 25 cm and which is equal to the capital d means ddv distance the kithe asta 25 cm asta therefore 1 upon f e 1 upon 6.25 is equal to the 1 upon minus 25 minus 1 upon u e okay therefore 1 upon 6.25 plus 1 upon 25 is equal to the minus 1 upon u e okay take the cross multiplication and lcm you get the u e is equal to the magnitude of u e is equal to the 5 cm u e magnitude of u e is equal to the 5 cm okay now calculate the vo ata u e is 5 cm l is 15 cm therefore what is the vo from this equation l is equal to the vo plus u e therefore l is 15 is equal to the vo as it is plus u 5 therefore magnitude of vo is equal to the 10 minus 5 and it becomes the 10 cm therefore you get here vo means image distance from the object is 10 cm now calculate the value of uo okay then use the same formula for the objective lens 1 upon fo is equal to the 1 upon vo minus 1 upon uo okay therefore 1 upon fo 1 upon fo is 1 upon 2 is equal to the 1 upon vo 1 upon 10 minus 1 upon uo okay therefore it becomes 1 upon 2 minus 1 upon 10 is equal to the minus 1 upon uo therefore this become 10 minus 2 upon 20 is equal to the minus 1 upon uo okay therefore let us see here 8 upon 20 is equal to the minus 1 upon uo therefore uo magnitude of uo is equal to the 20 upon 8 this becomes 10 upon 4 and this becomes okay this become 2.5 cm means uo is equal to the 2.5 cm you get the value of uo here means the distance of the object from the objective lens okay now we calculate the mp magnifying power of that microscope okay therefore mp is equal to the mo into me formula therefore mp is equal to the vo upon ue into d upon ue okay now vo value put up kara where is the value of vo it is 10 ue here is ue value it is 5 into capital d is 25 okay upon ue is value of ue d upon ue just to have calculate the value of ue ue is 5 d upon vo upon uo sorry here uo and this is d upon ue uo uo which value 2.5 sorry here is 2.5 okay therefore this becomes 25 into 10 is 250 upon this 2.5 into 5 is 12.5 and therefore this becomes the value is 20 therefore magnifying power of compound microscope is 20 it has no unit because it is the ratio of same physical quantity okay let us stop here